Good evening, greetings, and welcome. We have an exciting edition of Eckerd College Tritons men's basketball coming up here inside the MacArthur Center. John Armstrong, Nate March here with you, and this is a big matchup for two teams with matching six and ten records in the SSC. They currently sit side by side and in a three-way tie with the Mary University Buccaneers, a team that bested Eckerd over the weekend down in Miami Shores. Without further ado, let's meet the starting five for our competitors tonight, starting with the University of Tampa Spartans. Micah Brown is the leading scorer, averaging nearly 20 per game for this Spartans team. He's a 6'4 senior from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. He's joined in the backcourt by Isaiah Young, a 5'11 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois. The third guard in the lineup is Zach Simpson, a 6'3 junior from Providence, Rhode Island. In the front court, you will find Jacob Harris, a 6'8", 185-pound junior from Ackworth, Georgia. And rounding out the starting five is the big man and second leading scorer on the team, 6'7", sophomore Tyson Leto from Chicago, Illinois. The Spartans are coached by Richard Smith, who has been at the helm for quite some time across the bay in Tampa. And as we get ready to go here in the MacArthur Center, John, John Armstrong will introduce you to the starting five for the Eckerd College Tritons. A hey, little, little wrinkle in the starting lineup since the last time we were here for the Tritons. Uh, running the point, as usual, will be David Swadura, 5'11", junior from Mount Prospect, Illinois. Uh, Swadura, in his second season running the point, for Eckerd, one of the team's best three-point shooters, shooting to about 41% from behind the arc. Uh, the team's leading scorer, Daniel Love, 6'3", senior from Orlando, Florida. Love averaging 17.3 points per contest. He's joined in the backcourt by Carr Tiam. Tiam is 6'4", sophomore from Detroit, Michigan, and right behind Love in scoring, averaging 16.7 points per game. And the front court is Kent Girard, a 6'5", sophomore, from Kingsland, Georgia, and then in the starting lineup tonight, rounding out the starting five is Jordan Kwasinski, a 6'9 junior from Wilmette, Illinois. Tritons, of course, coached by Brian Golosky, 98 alum in his fourth season, assisted by Chakiris Moss, Damian Dixon, and Walter Bradley. Daniel Love, 19 points away from 1,000 for his career. Kwasinski in the middle to jump it up against Leto. As we get underway, just shy of 8 o'clock on Wednesday night, we had a doozy of a women's game. A doozy and a dandy, as in overtime, third-ranked Tampa defeated. Seventh-ranked Eckerd, 84-79. Tampa controls the tip. Here in the men's game, and in their road blacks with red numbers and trim, they attack left to right on your computer screen or mobile device. Or television, if you have one of those fancy-dancy smart TVs that you can call up the SSC Network app on. Now watch on as wide of a screen as you desire. Uh, Two-point jumper up and pure for Brown to open the scoring. Again, Micah Brown averaging over 17 points per game. One of the premier scorers in the conference. Tritons in the steel and teal attacking at the left end. Kwasinski down in the post on the left block. Out to the perimeter, Love thought about a long three, splits a pair of defenders, and gets to the tin to ring the bell. Yeah, Love is so good at that move they, they'll call snaking through the defense where he just splits a double team like that. He's able to contort and kind of angle his body to get through without uh, get through without contact and get to the rim. The snaking work against the clogged toilet defense? What? So the snaking work against the clogged toilet defense? I don't know. I don't know what the clogged toilet defense is. I, I would think that would just be a big clump of defenders under the basket. So uh, it might be I don't harder. know if you can snake through five. 18.43 to go. First foul of the evening is attached to Kwasinski, his first personal team's first, in front of the Eckerd bench. The Spartans inbound. Young. High post catch for Leto. Goes at Kwasinski, turns around, fading away. Front rim, no, and Kwasinski cleans the glass. Cartium. Gerard now, Love. Not quite two minutes in. Love, kick to the corner. Kwasinski out of there. Tiam, a good look from three, and he cans it. 
Yeah, Love got a mismatch on the screen and switch. Leto picked him up. That allowed him to drive to the basket. A couple of passes later, got TM the open shot. 5-2, lead for Eckerd. And a nice high-low feed for Harris on the move in the lay-in as two Tritons got tangled up in the high post. 5-4, the lead for Eckerd. Love takes it to the baseline, gets hit and fouled by Young. First personal on Young. Baseline right, Love inbounds, Kuzinski catches, foul line extended, right side. Swadera between the legs and over to Love right side. Midway through the clock, down into the short corner. Kuzinski out on the wing. Tium, eight to shoot, into the paint. Kuzinski got to get it up, right wing three, off the mark, but Swadera moves away from Leto to get the offensive board. Man, Tampa's switching everything on the screens right now, and as it you saw, Heckard got a couple of open looks off of it, just didn't convert. Another offensive rebound, this time Kuzinski off the short three from Swadera. Gerard jab steps. Harris stays back on him. Gerard into Harris, off the window, no. And Simpson able to deflect the rebound so that his teammates can corral it. Yeah, Tampa keeps switching those screens. Eckerd will try to look for mismatches you know, either in the post or on the perimeter. Harris fading right on the jump shot. Hits it, foul line extended, and puts the Spartans in front, 6-5. TM drives, left side, baseline, up, under and good. What a great finish. 7-6, Eckerd in front, not quite three and a half minutes gone by. Eckerd's been starting fast in his last several games, but the second halves have proved to be a challenge. Harris, again, catch and fire, doesn't get the roll. Shot rattled out. Triton's come the other way. Swadera hits Love. Love steps back right, puts up the three. Back rim, no. Battle for the rebound. Foul. If it's against Kwasinski, it is his second. It is. Might not matter as Rocky Rosario was already at the table waiting to replace him. Second team foul, both on Kwasinski. Rosario had been in the starting lineup quite a bit for the Tritons of late. I really liked what Coach Golusky told me about him in the postgame interview last time we were here about how simple he keeps the game. Never tries to do too much, plays within himself, and just makes himself a load with that big body. Leto trying to dribble against defensive pressure. Love poked the ball free. Winds up going between the legs of Young and over the sideline, over to Eckerd. When we get back with 15.47 to go in the first half, Eckerd 7, Tampa 6 on the SSC Digital Network. Just over four minutes gone by between the Tritons and the Spartans. Battle by the Bay. One long bridge separates these two schools and the cities they lie in. Tiam steps back behind the arc and hits his second triple of the night. 
Hot start for Tia with eight of Eckerd's ten points. Another good cut and find. Young with the layup this time. Long pass ahead, and Love is hit. Delayed reaction. Brown was looking to be aggressive, but his break on the ball was too late. Winds up committing his first personal, both teams with two. Fifteen, fifteen to go. Tritons with a 10-8 lead. A hair behind the arc, Gerard. Harris guarding him. Rosario flips it back to Gerard, left wing, driving at Harris. Gerard bullies his way inside and is fouled on the floor. Rosario gets the bounce pass off the inbound from Love. Daniel trying to turn the corner, finds Rosario, in off the glass and in. That was good control by Rosario. Made a tough catch there with uh, Harris right in his face, but he was able to gather the ball first, find his position, and then knew he, had a ch knew he could overpower Harris down on the block. Leto above the left elbow. Brown, Tiam strips him, takes it right away. Tiam looking for his third three. Off the mark that time, and Leto boxing out Rosario to secure the board. Tritons led at half in the first meeting between these two teams on January 14th. Tampa rallied to win by seven, 80 to 73. Leto steps through, just had to throw the shot up to avoid a travel. Puts a hand on his eye. I'm not sure if he got hit or he just couldn't believe how bad the shot looked. Here is Love, tough angle, cannot score. He is still grabbing his eye. I do think that he got hit, but he, he did have to take a very awkward shot to avoid getting called for steps as he tried to work his way around the mountain that is Rocky Rosario. There's a couple of, couple of big guys in there fighting for position. Harris turns the corner on Swadera. Open shooter, right side corner, buried by Simpson. 12-11 lead for record after the Tampa bucket. Each team with a sub waiting at the table. Love has lots of space. Left side, Brown guarding him. Gerard, right wing, looking for the post entry. Instead, keeps it on the perimeter. Love got Brown to leave his feet, dribbles in, and misses the short jumper. Don't see Love miss often on a look like that. Brown, long three. Got it, and puts the Spartans back in front by two. Triton's now with two men at the table, and for the first time in a while, J.P. Haggerty's going to get some first half run. Swadera, left side, up and under and good. Well, it's a couple times we've seen Tritons weave their way from the left side of the wing to the baseline and then use the rim for protection to finish. All even at 14, Harris off the left side of the rim. Leto, though. Gets the rebound, but lost it off his own foot. 12 and a half minutes to go in the first half. That was quite a stretch of continuous action. Haggerty, Dante Bouchard both in. Dante Love in as well. So it's the two Dantes, J.P. Haggerty, Cartium, and Rocky Rosaria. Left elbow catch, Rosario, hands off for Dante Love, and wave off the bucket, moving screen called against Rosario. That's one of Eckert's early actions off that horn set. Often can result in open threes, but unfortunately Rosario, too much movement on the screen. Dante Love hounding the ball handler, Harvey. It's DeAndre Harvey. Fresh into the game. Jonathan Bryant, the second, also in. Tritons hit with a foul with 11.59 to go in the half. Brings us to the under 12. 14-14 is the score. 
as we step aside on the SSC Digital Network. Eleven fifty nine to go in the first half. Eckerd and Tampa knotted up at fourteen. Rocky Rosario was called for his second personal foul, so now Josh Galloway is in, and Leto finishes through Galloway to put Tampa back ahead, sixteen fourteen. So Jordan Kwasinski and Rocky Rosario each have two personals. Galloway faces up at the elbow, hands out. Bouchard, three on the way, too strong. Haggerty, offensive rebound, diagonal pass, wide open. Dante Love splashes the triple. Yeah, Harvey somehow lost his footing and it was on the floor, gave Love the wide open shot. Really nice find by Haggerty off the offensive rebound, make that diagonal pass. TM stays strong, Bryant misses the shot. Haggerty, right wing. Love on the catch. Dante Love thought about the shot. Double clutches, gives it up. TM, eight points already. Drives into the paint, floats off the window. Didn't draw iron. Last touch by the Tritons and over to Tampa. Micah Brown checks back in. And the Tritons have started hot in a lot of the games in this second half of the season. It's just been a matter of uh, maintaining that. So as the game goes along, it'll be important for Ecker to be able to continue to play consistently on both ends of the floor and not have offensive lapses like has been the unfortunate case in the last few games. Daniel Love back in for Eckert. He scored the first bucket of the game for the Tritons, but then missed his next three attempts before heading to the bench. Harvey handling the basketball out front. Harris. He does not hang the ball, hang on to the ball for very long. Leto offensive rebound, knocked out of his hands. Galloway blocks the attempt by Bryant, and the Tritons come away, out and running. Dante Love down the lane, lays it up and in. A thrilling sequence there as Galloway provides the rim protection. Right side, Bryant. Plato catches behind the arc. Inside, Haggerty bear hugs Brown as he goes up with the shot, and two free throws come for Tampa's leading scorer. That was a great read of uh, read by Brown. He was sitting there near the uh, left elbow after a cutter came through across the lane and opened it up. He saw an opportunity to cut to the basket, got past Haggerty. You watch his movement without the ball and kind of get an idea of why he's the team's leading scorer. First free throw, good. Both good for Brown. Harris doesn't have an abnormally large number of shots on the season relative to his production, but every time the ball has come into his orbit tonight, he's been gunning it up. Two of five from the floor to this point. Eckerd with a one-point lead over Tampa, 19-18. Galloway holds the ball high in the high post. 
Dante Love turns the corner. Gerard was near him. Passes back out for Bouchard. And he got a mismatch. There's Good. Love guarded by Brown. Nine to shoot. Bouchard uses the late swing from Galloway. Five to shoot. Long two. Didn't draw iron. Leto the rebound for Tampa. Yeah, I think Galloway had a mismatch. He just, Eckert couldn't get in the ball inside. Again, Tampa switching not only screens, but also switching everything on dribble handoffs. Spartans looking to go back in front. Down by one. Brown, trouble with his handle. And winds up getting hit on the floor. Foul on Bouchard. Someone got teed. Uh, I think it was uh, I think it was somebody from Tampa. Looks not sure what happened. Seems that way based on the reaction from the Tritons bench. But that was strange that I don't know. I don't know what could have happened there because there was nothing out of the ordinary, not only on that play, but for the entire game. It's been a pretty, it's been a cleanly played basketball game. There's nobody's, nobody's been chippy. Goes on Brown. That is two personals on him now. Yeah, I have not, have no idea what precipitated that. And technical fouls being called in Eckerd men's basketball games have certainly not been uncommon this year. Often it's Eckerd on the receiving end of the technical fouls, but again, this one had been free of chippiness and very cleanly played on both ends of the floor. I was, I'm not sure what, I don't know what caused that. Love makes one of two. 20 to 18, Eckerd ahead. Triton's been called for six fouls, Tampa only for four, so the Spartans will shoot the rest of the way. Nine twenty-nine to go in the half. Harris inbounding, baseline left. Into the corner, Bryant guarded tight by Bouchard. Bryant takes baseline, tries to go up and under, and sneaks it up and in. Score nodded, 20 apiece. Gerard goes right at Harris, into Lato, missed the shot, but gets it back, then missed again, his third tip, it's in, and he's fouled. First two shots were wild misses, the third one goes up and through while Leto commits his first personal. Jesse White checks in. Played at Central Wyoming College, native of Portland, Oregon. Gerard cans the free throw, 23-20. Tritons go back in front. Just about nine minutes left to play. In the first half, that is. Leto shows the ball to Galloway. Looks to take him off the dribble. White. Pardon me, Harvey. Harvey pulls up, right elbow, hits the jumper to bring Tampa back within one. Harvey, Simpson, White, Bryant, and Leto, the five on the floor for the Spartans. Love takes baseline for Galloway, got hit going up for the two-handed slam. Yeah, that's a good find by uh, Love. Thought we were going to get uh, Dunk to bring the crowd, to bring the crowd to its feet. Had a little excitement here in the MacArthur Center, but instead Galloway has to earn them at the line. First free throw, good. Cartiam and David Swadera back in. The two Dantes go to the bench. Galloway missed the free throw. Didn't wind up mattering that he missed it. It would have been waved off anyway, as Galloway called for going over the line early. I think in part because he realized how long he missed it. Thought he could get in there for his own rebound. 
Swadera up on Harvey. Leto screens, Galloway out to hedge. Well done, allows Swadera to stay right on his man, 10 to shoot. Ball not free, TM deflects it, Swadera ahead, Gerard. Ball deflected momentarily, Love out, Gerard, Swadera. Tampa recovers, the Tritons don't get a shot despite the numbers, largely thanks to Jesse White's momentary, momentary deflection in the open floor. And then Gerard throws the ball away. He was stuck in the air. 7.53 to go till halftime. Acker 24, Tampa 22. This is the SSC Digital Network. Tritons by two, Tampa with the basketball. Bryant, right wing, guarded by Gerard. Gerard avoids the screen from Leto, hangs with his man. White, Leto sliding down to the rim. Galloway picks him up there. Gerard rips the ball away, throws it out in front. Swadera bounces off for Love. Back out, Swadera. Couple of interesting transition ball movement patterns for the Tritons. Yeah, Gerard, after stripping the ball away, tried to get uh, Swadera on the run out. Pass wasn't really accurate. Great catch by Swadera to keep it alive. Love fouled down low as he went to his left. Should get him to the line. And both teams are going to be shooting the rest of the way. Foul on White for Tampa. First free throw swishes in. Four points for Love. We know when he gets going, he can fill it up in a hurry. Him and TM both. Second free throw misses. Love has already missed a couple in the game. Harvey guarded by Swadera. Backs him to the free throw line. Simpson backs out between the circles. Bryant moves it along. White, Love all over him. White dribbles out of trouble. Eight to shoot. Swadera left his feet. Foul line extended. Jumper good. Harvey gave Sodera a glance after getting him to fly by. Tritons by one, 25-24. Love nearly lost the ball entirely. Gives it up, TM goes into the spin cycle and scores. Another strong finish by TM. He got eight points early, had been quiet since. That puts him into double figures with 10.
White the glove up on him. Leto, left elbow, goes at Galloway. Missed the shot, gets it back. Gets Galloway in the air, still can't score. And there is the whistle underneath. Galloway definitely hit him, but the ball was up in the air and then all the way off the rim before yeah. the call was made. I don't, think the, I don't think the question, that there was any question it was a foul, but I was with you as the whistle came awfully late. I don't know if sometimes officials, you know, one uh, farther away from the ball just assumes the one closest is going to make the call, and when they don't, then they're jumping in to make the call for them. Free throw good for Leto. Yeah, Leto's been struggling uh, at close range thus far tonight. Harris back in, replacing Bryant. Both free throws good for Leto. What the uh, Tampa's done good defensively on um, for the most of this first half, when Love gets the, the ball and tries to dribble penetrate, they're not letting him turn the corner. They're forcing him to go kind of vertically instead of letting him move, that he's not able to get to the basket. Galloway shot off the mark, off of Galloway, and out of bounds. They missed opportunity for there. That was a good look for Love to Galloway. Galloway just missed the bunny. He's going to have to give Eckert some good minutes, though, with uh, Rosario and Kwasinski both on the bench with two fouls each. A lob for Harris. Gerard defends it well, knocking the ball out. 5.26 to go in the half. Eckert by one. Tampa with the basketball, down 27-26. Harris to inbound, baseline left. Leto, left of the lane, lowers the shoulder, offensive foul. Yep. Wasn't a lot of contact there, but it was such an exaggerated move that you know, even when there's not much contact, you're going to get hit with that. Tritons with the ball up one. Free throw line, Gerard. TM left wing behind the arc. Looks inside, gives up Swadera. Galloway screens. Got a mismatch for Galloway if they can get him the ball. And instead, White able to front, knocks the ball free, loose on the floor. Simpson got kicked in the head, winds up as a tie up that favors the Tritons. That's not exactly a great break for Eckerd. There's only three on the shot clock. No. Again, they had that mismatch for Galloway, guarded by White. White was able to slide in front and knock yep. the ball loose. That's Tampa's guards are doing a really good job of that on those switches when they get caught in those mismatches in the post. We saw Swadura do this a lot last year when Eckerd would switch everything. You know, they're, try, they're getting in front, trying to front the post to make the pass go over the top in time for help side to come over. But Eckerd has not been able to take advantage of those opportunities. Leto out, Bryant back in. Love, two to shoot, one to shoot, pulls up, 16-footer, front rim, no, punched into the Tampa bench and over to the Spartans. Tritons just had to try to create a shot in a hurry. Tampa looking for the lead. Instead, a turnover. TM comes away with the basketball after a fumbled short distance pass. Love is open, left corner, and hits the triple. Swadera looked right, flung the pass left, down into the corner, and White couldn't recover to Love. Tritons by four, but TM called on a foul that sends Simpson to the line for a one and one. First foul on Tiam, Eckerd's eighth. Free throw too strong. Front end is missed and into the hands of Gerard. Here's Love up the left side. In attack mode, all the way to the basket. Left the shot short, battle for the rebound. It stays with Eckerd, last touch by Harris.
Tiam, another step back three. Too strong, White the rebound. Left wing, Harvey. Here's Harris. Finds White. And you know, I made fun of how quick the ball leaves Harris's hands on shots earlier. He's also got four assists, so he keeps the ball moving one way or another. It's either heading to the rim or heading to someone's hands who's going to put it in the rim. And the Spartans have done a really good job moving without the ball in those cuts to the basket. 30 to 28, Eckerd leading with the basketball. TM posting has a size advantage and gets hand checked on the floor by Harvey. A one and one for Car TM. But first, a media timeout with 3.17 to go in the first half. Tritons with a two point lead and shooting free throws when we get back on the SSC Digital Network. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams, discover your talents, get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Thank you to preferred partner of Eckerd Athletics, Ferg Sports Bar and Grill. For 30 years, Ferg Sports Bar and Grill has been the official gathering spot for Tampa Bay Rays fans. Located in downtown St. Pete, Ferg's encompasses nearly two city blocks with both indoor and outdoor seating with live music. When watching your next Tampa Bay sporting event, check out Ferg's. Three seventeen to go first half. Eckerd leading Tampa 30-28 and Cartium at the line shooting a one and one. First good for TM. He's got 11. Both good for TM. White advances the basketball, hounded by Daniel Love. Uh, Gerard called for the foul, got Bryant on the arm. First free throw, lots of iron, but falls through. Second is good. Right side of the floor, Love around the arc, TM, Galloway shows on the left block. Swadera looking for a place to drive. Gerard keeps it moving. Tiam. Swadera fires up the three. High carom off the glass and into the hands of Bryant. Tampa trying to tie things up. And they do. Strong push by Harvey up and in. Yeah, Harvey got a half step on Swadera and had to angle to the basket. David did everything he could, but uh, Harvey, as you said, strong move to finish. Love from the end in Triton, splashes the three and puts Eckerd right back in front, 35-32. Tampa's done a good job on Love cutting to, or driving to the basket. They're taking his dribble penetration, finishing away, but Love's made him pay from the perimeter with a pair of threes. 
Love in double digits with 10. Nine points away from 1,000 in his career. Harris, bounce pass, let him too far. Love takes it away, going the length of the floor. Love, wave it off, offensive foul. First personal on Love, a minute 51 to go in the half. And Simpson did a good job there holding his ground. Just stayed in front of Love and drew the contact. Daniel didn't care much for the call, but takes the basket off the board. It's been a frustrating evening in transition for the Tritons. There's a few times the ball's wound up out too wide or there's been a brief deflection that slowed down the break. That time an offensive foul. And now Galloway called, jumping through Harris to deflect a pass. And that puts Harris at the free throw line, not for a one and one, but for two. It's double bonus time. And two fouls on Galloway, so all three of Eckerd's big men right now dealing with foul trouble. Um, just notice, you know, speaking of Eckerd big men, uh, Di Dial Richards is not on the bench tonight. Free throw good for Harris. Haggerty and for Galloway. We have seen Haggerty play spot minutes at center. Uh, during a time earlier in the season when there was a mix of injuries and illness that left the Triton shorthanded with bigs. Yeah, it's, it's certainly not uh, Haggerty's primary or really even a secondary position, having to play out of position, you know, like you said, in spurts to give Eckerd a little bit more depth at that spot. Harris, one of two at the line. Love gets the ball high off to Swadera. TM out front, looking to drive down the left side of the lane, hangs in the air and scores! Another good finish. Team's been able to get the corner that uh, Love hasn't been able to get tonight. He's done a good job finishing at the rim with a little bit of contact. Tampa couldn't contest it much better. White open under the basket. Harris yeah. zipping it through traffic to get it there. Yeah, I think uh, some of these cuts are catching Eckerd defenders asleep. 37-35, final minute of the half. Offensive foul against the Tritons. It's on Gerard, his second. Harris is the leading assist man on the season for the Spartans. Averages two and a half a game. He's got double that here in the first half. Off the mark on a short jumper, attacking off the dribble. Nine second difference, game clock and shot clock. Tritons with the ball and a two point lead. TM with 14 points, gives it up. Love comes knifing down the lane. Floater rolls off and Harris a strong rebound. Takes off himself. Shot clock is off, 15 seconds and Harvey is hit and will head to the free throw line. Tampa's hung around with Brown on the bench. He hasn't played since picking up his second on a confusing technical foul where he had been fouled at one end and then got hit with a technical after several seconds. It wasn't like there was an immediate emotional reaction. Free throw good for Harvey. Dante Love in for Gerard. Don't need the rebounding size with only 14.3 seconds left. Well, it's assuming Harvey makes this. Then you could have that well, there's only one man on the lane for Tampa as it is. Both are good anyway, and the score is even at 37 apiece. And Brian Golusky calls his use it or lose it timeout. 30 second TO. So a hard fought back and forth first half. Again, these teams are tied for the eight spot in a three way tie with Barry. All three teams, six and 10 in SSC play. Conference standings as it is, Nova Southeastern 16-0. They've already clinched the regular season title in the SSC. Florida Southern's 11-6. Embry-Riddle and St. Leo are each 9-7. Florida Tech's 9-8. Rollins is 8-8. Palm Beach Atlantic, 8-9. Then the triumvirate of Barry, Eckerd, and Tampa. 
And Lynn brings up the rear at two and 15. It's not something you hear very often about with Lynn in men's basketball, being in last place with a two and 15 conference record. Now very usually one of the top teams in conference. The fighting Knights have been the flailing Knights for much of this season, just four and 18 overall on the year. Eight seconds, Love spins back right. Uses the dribble, nearly traveled, hard turnaround jumper off the mark. Dante Love didn't get it off in time. Time expires on the half. It's all even after 20 minutes. Akron 37, Tampa 37. Tartium leading all scores with 14 points. And we'll be back with second half action in 15 minutes on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. Team. J. Harper Consulting is Florida's definitive network of vetted contractors serving insurance carriers and clients. For your next contracting project, check them out at jharperconsulting.com. Thank you to preferred partner of Eckerd Athletics, Novak and Powell. To achieve your financial life on better terms, thank the financial service advisors of Novak and Powell at NovakPowell.com. Novak and Powell helps from managing and preserving your wealth to leaving a legacy for your loved ones. Thank you to preferred hotel partner of Eckerd Athletics, Residence Inn. Experience a peaceful waterfront getaway at Residence Inn, Tierra Verde. Located directly on the bay, the Residence Inn is a waterfront hotel just steps away from all your favorite St. Pete attractions. When booking your next St. Pete getaway, think Residence Inn. A big reason why Eckert succeeds on and off the court is because of the tremendous support we receive throughout the year. I want to thank the members of the Teal to Society for your generous gifts to help fund our teams. Even a small gift can go a long way to support our teams, such as scholarships, travel, uniforms, and many other things. Please consider joining our Teal and Steel Society today. Visit EckertTritons.com slash give for more information. Thank, thank you, you and go, go Tritons! Tritons. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa.
Half number two between Eckerd and Tampa, 37 all. We had a thrilling women's game earlier this evening, won by the third ranked Tampa Spartans, 84-79 over the seventh ranked Eckerd Tritons. Isaiah Young only played five minutes during that first half, goes inside Leto, who scores with the Spartans ahead. Starting five back on the floor for Tampa. That also means Micah Brown is back out there. He only played nine minutes during the first half. Cartium has 14, Daniel Love with 10, leading the way for the Tritons. Gerard thought about the three, dribbles into a two, left it short. Alato grabs the rebound on the bounce. And this is where the Tritons have, as we mentioned earlier, had a lot of struggles in recent weeks, the second half. You know, they've been in games at halftime, and then for some reason, second halves, things have just fallen apart. Long three-point try, good for Brown. And he's in double figures with 10, extending the Tampa lead to a game-high five. Just over a minute gone by in the second half. Daniel Love guarded tight by Young. Baseline, right side, used up his dribble. TM, tough catch. He lost the handle, scoops it up off the hardwood and throws the ball away, trying to enter for Kwasinski. Young angles to the right side of the floor. Brown thought about trying another long three instead. Harris, Leto, pinballed around and Love winds up with the basketball. Long pass ahead, Swadera. Lays it in, Brown pulled up to avoid getting his third foul. Forty-two, thirty-nine, Tampa with the ball and the lead. Harris right side. Asks for a high screen, uses it, can't shake free from Gerard. Twelve to shoot, Young wants the screen. He gets rushed out of it. Harris open, three-pointer, right side, good. Yeah, that's the, that's the uh, danger you run into when you want to blitz that ball screen at the top like Kwasinski did. It's, if you don't have good rotation on the backside, you can give an open shot. Tampa took advantage there. Tampa by six. Tritons ball at the right elbow with Gerard. TM right wing. Love turns, faces up. Kwasinski slides down toward the basket. Gerard again thinks about the three, doesn't pull the trigger. So Adara, left wing, Love, left corner, takes the baseline, eight to shoot, into a crowd. Chance for a three-point play as Leto sends Love to the floor, and the bucket falls through. What a finish by Love. That's all you can say about it is what a finish. Third foul on Leto. DeAndre Harvey in. Tampa goes to a smaller lineup as Leto goes to the bench with three fouls. Love splashes the free throw. He has 13 points, closing in on the millennium mark for his career. Brown faces up against Love. Harris, Kwasinski on him. Harris takes him off the dribble into the paint. Turnaround jumper, good. They've done it kind of quietly, but Tampa is shooting 65% from the floor in the game. Harris, 10 points, 5 assists. Love tries to answer at the other end. Tipped ball, winds up with Harvey. Up the middle of the floor, veers to the right. Brown wants the basketball, but then runs away from it. Love bodying up Harris in the high post. Ball is deep on the right side. Young backs it out between the circles, 12 to shoot. Harris hands off Harvey, pinned to the sideline. Dribbles into Swadera, fall away jumper, back rim no. Battle for the rebound, won by Simpson. Tampa, another opportunity out to the perimeter to reset. Brown, jab step, look away, pass inside, left-handed layup, Harvey. Another great cut. Tampa's doing a fantastic job of moving without the ball, cutting to the basket. I don't know if Eckerd's getting caught. I'm not, I need to watch off the ball to see if the Tritons are getting caught in back screens or maybe 
caught napping or over committing on the denial, but Tampa's found something uh, that's created those easy baskets on those backdoor cuts. First time out of the second half called by Eckerd. We'll take a break as well. Triton's down seven with 16-11 to go on the SSC Digital Network. Thank you to preferred partner of Eckerd Athletics, Cora Physical Therapy. For more information and to achieve a healthier you, visit CoraPhysicalTherapy.com. For patients with orthopedic problems, work-related injuries, sports injuries, and various neuromuscular and neurological conditions are always treated right. Thank you to preferred partner of Eckerd Athletics, Domino's on 34th Street South. For pizza, wings, pasta, salad, and sandwiches, think Domino's. Ecker down by 7, 49, 42. Not quite four minutes gone by in the second half. Kwasinski picks up the bounce pass from Swadera, hands off Tiam, looking to turn on Harris. Makai Perry's first action of the game is Gerard. Perry couldn't pull the trigger, gets in the lane. Swadera, extra pass, Tiam wide open, right side, off the mark, wide to the right. And the rebound snagged by Simpson for Tampa. Shame to come up empty. That was a good possession and fantastic ball movement by the Tritons. Simpson holds the ball left wing. Lob inside for Brown. Too tall and Kwasinski steals it away. Goes behind his back in the open floor. Shovels to Perry. TM in the corner. Kwasinski down the lane. Offensive foul though against the Tritons. Second time we've seen Simpson hold his ground and take that hit for the off to draw the offensive foul. Third foul on Kwasinski, 15-24 to go. We'll take a break with Tampa up 49-42 on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. Free pizza. Tampa basketball after the offensive foul, 15-20 to go in the game. Tampa has opened up a seven point advantage in the early stages of the second half. And Makai Perry hit with the foul. They're calling that on the floor. Brown tried to go into a shooting motion as Perry had reached across both his arms. Uh, Triton's really catching a break there because sometimes you sell that well enough and you can get three free throws out of that. I say Wes Johnson, whose career never totally panned out in the NBA, was a master of that as an All-American at Syracuse. Conning a defender to reach across his arm 
and then getting up into a shooting motion where he could never even release the ball by free throws. And here's another foul against the Tritons late in the shot clock, this time on Swadera. Yeah, those are, those are not good places to draw those two fouls so far out on the perimeter when uh, neither Tampa player was in a position to create anything. They're just giving, giving away two fouls and putting the Spartans closer to the bonus. Bouchard replaces Swadera. Out between the circles, Isaiah Young. Brown takes the dribble handoff, moves it quickly through to Simpson. Brown with TM on him, right block. Brown is strong, TM holds his ground, challenges the shot well and forces the miss. Bouchard, Gerard, around TM, looking to attack Brown. Help defense comes from Harris, out top Perry. Too strong on the three, Gerard's tip, no, but a second tap attempt results in a foul. A good effort by Gerard on the offensive glass. This is a place where Eckerd can take advantage, perhaps of this smaller Tampa lineup on the floor right now is by crashing the offensive boards and creating second opportunities like Gerard did there. Free throw short for Gerard. Tritons have almost as many offensive rebounds as defensive ones. As you mentioned, John, Tampa shooting 62% from the floor, but they have turned it over 11 times. Gerard gets the second to barely slip on through. Fourteen twenty to go in the game, Tampa up six. Nearly a steal out front, Simpson hangs on to the basketball. Brown pushed by Bouchard. That's three fouls Eckert's made way out on the perimeter where again, none of the Tampa players are in a position to create. 14-10 to go and the foul's already more than halfway to bonus territory for Tampa. Harris blows by Rosario on the perimeter. Gerard comes to help, try and switch it. Rosario is on Harris again. Here's a drive inside. Blocked by Rosario on the turnaround by Harvey. In the open floor, Tiam goes behind the back. Inside, Rocky Rosario gets the roll. Rewarded for his effort on the defensive end, running the floor and getting the bunny at the offensive end. Brown. Harris at the nail, hands off Brown. Rosario trying to get back to Harris. Brown off the mark on the jumper. TM again challenging Brown, forcing another miss. Here's TM down the lane. What body control by Car TM. Count the bucket and a chance for a three point play. Eckert started the half a little bit slow, and again, you know, we. You, that's kind of been a trend for the Tritons lately, but hey, Eckerd's hit continue to push. They've done a really good job attacking the basket on the last few possessions, creating opportunities of, again against a smaller Tampa lineup. TM off the mark and Gerard called for a foul on the rebound. Free throw would have brought Eckerd back to within one. As it is, it's 49-47. That's the third foul on Gerard and five on Eckerd. Haggerty will come on to replace Gerard. Young walks the ball up the floor, picked up by Bouchard. Simpson looks inside. Harris fires up the three, back rim, no, battle for the rebound, contested. Bouchard comes away with it, Tritons can tie or take the lead. Yeah, Harvey had it, Bouchard just stripped it right away from him. Bouchard fakes the shot from the elbow, back to Perry, probes his way in, back to behind the arc, gets in the paint, Haggerty right of the lane, 10 to shoot, TM gets to the baseline, Harris helps on defense, doesn't wind up mattering. Tiam sneaks it in. 
He had to shoot that from down low. Down around his hip when he started the shooting motion. Got it up and in. 18 points for Tiam. Scoring drought nearing four minutes for Tampa. On the block, Harris. Gonna back his way in. Hook shot good for Harris. Yeah. Harris did have the size advantage on uh, Tiam there. Tampa was able to exploit that mismatch. Tampa takes the lead right back, 51-49. Tiam into Simpson, foul call. You know, Eckert's found a situation there when Simpson's on uh, when Simpson's on Tiam that they can attack. Tiam's got a size advantage and is able to put it on the floor, get to the basket on him. 11.51 to go in the game, Tampa by two when we, re when we return on the SSC Digital Network. Here, our mission is to move you, to challenge your thoughts, to keep you paddling onward. No bricks and ivy, but sun and sand, where learning happens everywhere, even here. A home for the adventurous, the doers, the free thinkers, and the best friends, where we push you to become a better citizen, problem solver, creator, for the careers of today and new ones on the horizon. Once we have there and the relationships I've built is something like I wouldn't be able to find just anywhere else. It's just different types of people, so just, just seeing the new faces every day, uh, having different types of conversation, uh, seeing people are from everywhere at Eckerd College. I would say the environment, the community, like the people that I've met, it's just so awesome. Like, I know that after college, like, I'll have lifelong friends, and I don't think I'd be able to get that anywhere else. Love inbounds for the Tritons, baseline left. Bouchard at the left wing, drives into the paint, dishes down to Galloway on the baseline. Jumper is long. And Harris skies for the rebound. Tampa 51, Eckerd 49, coming up on 11 and a half to go in the game. Harris faces up Haggerty. Brown. Leto back in with three fouls, goes at Galloway and scores with the left hand. That's a nice finish. Leto, again, had been having some struggles in the first half inside, finishing around the basket, but he's had two nice finishes here up close in the second half. Haggerty fakes the pass left, comes back right. Perry lets fly and hits the three. <laughs> Triton's back within one, 53-52. Brown faces up Love. Jesse White's back in the game. He goes down to the corner. He makes the catch here, lets fly from three, and answers Perry's triple. 56-52, Tampa in front. Crucial matchup in the back half of the Sunshine State Conference standings. These two teams are fighting for that eighth and final spot in the conference playoffs. Haggerty attacks off the dribble and draws the foul against Harvey. Both teams with five fouls in the second half. So each with one more to give. Baseline right, Love inbounding, needs to get it in. Haggerty receives inside the arc. Bouchard, tough catch, couldn't catch and shoot. Keeps the ball moving around Love, right side. Haggerty looking for Galloway on the post entry. Eight to shoot. Galloway goes at Leto and scores. I think Galloway can put the ball in the basket against Leto. If Eckert can get him the ball on the blocks, let him go one on one with him. He's good when he goes up to his right shoulder. 56 54. Eckert down a couple. Harris with the ball, left wing. Looks inside, ball for Lato, knocked up in the air. Lato recovers, 10 to shoot. Going at Galloway, had to be a travel, it is. <laughs> Tritons get it back down two.
Galloway, right elbow. Down on the block, Galloway has the size advantage with the lefty hook. Was halfway down, comes out, Haggerty sneaks in, short on the putback, got his own miss. Haggerty back up, ball deflected. I think Harris actually gets the shot block on that play. Tampa comes away with the ball. Tritons with a bunch of good looks to try to even the score. Perry left his feet, and two free throws coming up for Harvey. First free throw off the mark. Second is good. Love between the circles. Galloway flashes high, hands back for Perry. Triton's down by three. Galloway catches a deflected pass, eight to shoot. Perry up fakes, dribbles. Bouchard, tough catch, three to shoot, off one foot, an air ball into the hands of Leto. Now Galloway, I think, kicked that ball out of the post too soon. They had the double on him, but it sagged off, and he had a mismatch in the one-on-one. -on -one. Didn't recognize it. Eckert is out of fouls to give. And that means that Harris is shooting a one-and-one -one as he gets grabbed coming down the lane. Fouls the second on Daniel Love. Harris makes the first. And the second for Harris. Tampa lead is five. Love between the circles. Galloway to the right elbow. Love on the attack, gets a lane in for the layup. He has 15. Under eight to play in the game. Uh, lob inside, White got hit. Bouchard called for his third personal. Free throws will follow when we return. 7.51 to go on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network.
7.51 to go. Jesse White is at the free throw line. I think there's a debate here over whether it's a one and one or shooting two. I believe that was a shooting foul. I thought so. He is shooting two. Officials lingered at the scorer's table for a while. First free throw is good. Tampa is 13 of 16 at the free throw line. Both free throws good for White. Sixty-one, fifty-six. Bouchard runs point for the Tritons. Tiam rises up. Too strong on the three. Got his own miss. Gets two men in the air, and Leto's got his fourth foul. And Leto's pleading his case that he didn't foul there, said he had his arms up, and he, and he did, but I don't think he stayed in his vertical cone when he went up to contest the shot. Now. Free throw good for Tim. He has 19. Well, the offensive player gets you up in the air first like that. You're often at their mercy. And Tampa will have to go small again. Eckerd counters with bringing in Rosario. Gerard is back in as well. One of two at the line for Tiam. White lines up with the batted ball. Speaking of batted balls, we'll have three Eckerd Triton softball broadcasts coming up, one on Friday, two on Saturday, as the Lynn University Fighting Knights come to the waterfront. Ball deflected out by Eckerd on the baseline. Harris triggering in, baseline right. Nowhere to go with the ball, throws it out. Brown lines up the three, doesn't shoot it, dribbles into the 15-footer and gets run over by Gerard. That's four on Gerard. Yeah, it's a tough place to get it. It's a tough place to get your fourth foul. That's gonna be double bonus the rest of the way for the Spartans as well. Brown rips the net with his first free throw. Kwasinski back in with three fouls, replacing Gerard, who has four. Seven oh eight to go in the game. Eckerd down five, pending the free throw. Brown gets the roll, he has a dozen, and the lead is a half dozen for Tampa. Kaczynski, Swadera, Love tries the triple. Rims out, Rosario fighting for possession. And that's four on Rosario. Or sorry, only three on him. Not sure how I feel about that one. Rosario and Bryant sort of tangled up with each other. Felt like that could have gone either way. Officials pretty confidently hit Rosario with the foul. Yeah. That means two free throws. Yeah, Bryant had the, had the inside position. Generally, that's going to result in the foul being called on the other player. Again, it's two free throws the rest of the way for Tampa. Free throws, good. 
And a lead swells to eight. Yeah, now Tampa in the double bonus. That's where those three early fouls in the half that were way out on the perimeter called on Eckerd. That uh, could come back to haunt him. TM's three rims out. White the rebound. Well, the Tritons don't start going stagnant on offense again. You know, they, after it, Tampa went up early in the second half, Eckert had a lot of success getting to the basket with you know, attacking the basket. Can't settle for threes. Brown, tough turnaround. Yep. This is a place Eckert really needs to get back to attacking the basket, creating off the dribble. Double digit lead for Tampa. Kwasinski goes at Harris. Hook shot, no, TM, offensive rebound, in under the basket, ball pops loose. It is off Simpson of Tampa. Love triggers in, baseline right. Swadera, around to the left, Kwasinski, Love down in the corner. Swadera between the circles with eight to shoot. TM has the ball knocked free at the elbow, stripped away by White. Had a narrow window to try to find Brown. Elects to bring it into the forecourt left. Tampa attacks in the half court instead. Spartans have made their last four attempts from the floor. White fires up the three, got hit on the hand, no call on the air ball. Kuzinski got away with one. There's Love in transition. Triton sorely need a basket. Rosario, left block, goes to Harris. Harris knocks the ball away from behind. Ball knocked loose. Rosario comes up with it for the Tritons. Yeah, Love created that. He got the deflection to knock the ball away. Well, Harris really has played a dandy of a game for Tampa on both ends of the floor. Blocking foul on the floor. That'll be a one and one Maybe with exactly five minutes to play. That's right. Starting to put the ball on the floor and attack the basket again. I think that's what Eckert's going to have to rely on for the rest of this game. Tritons are just six of 19 from three point range. Yeah, one of, I mean, Eckert's strengths as a team is for the most part this year, not been three-point shooting. They're at their best when you let, you know, TM Love attack the basket. That does in turn open up the perimeter, but, you know, those guys are such good creators off the dribble. Seems like, you know, Eckerd, when the Tritons are at their best offensively, it's when those guys are making things happen off the bounce. TM misses the front end, Harris the rebound. And free throws have been a big difference in this game. Tampa 18 of 21, Eckert just 9 of 15 from the line. Harris high post, ball knocked away by Kwasinski. Big defensive play for the Tritons. Need to find a bucket. Perry got the three, and the Tritons really needed that. Perry's second make of the game. 67-60, Tampa in front. This time Harris protects the ball at the nail. Dribbles back behind the arc. Fakes the handoff to Simpson. Does hand it off to Bryant. Brown, Swadera up on him, seven to shoot. Brown goes at Swadera. Blocking foul, sends Brown to the free throw line for a pair. That's a shame, that, that possession was so well defended by Eckerd and then you know, getting a bailout call right there on Swadera, which quite honestly, I didn't see a whole lot of contact on that, enough to really warrant a call. No. Three fouls on Swadera. First free throw, up and good. Brown leads Tampa with 15 points. Missed the second long, 68-60. Love crosses over, gets to the rim, lays it up and through. 
And it's those sort of things that will help open up the perimeter for your shooters like Makai Perry and David Swadera. Love brings Eckerd within six. He's at 17 points. Another bucket will bring him 1,000 for his career. Brown, right of the lane, faces up Love. Takes Love off the dribble, turns back, tough contested shot, Kwasinski back to the board. Tiam in the open floor, smashes into White. Here comes Love on the attack, gets to the 10, 1,000 points in Daniel Love's career. And of course he does it in a hard fought tight game as he tries to bring the Tritons back. It's only fitting that he gets his 1,000th point on what he does best, the cut drive to the basket. Simpson on the cut. Makes the catch and scores to stem the Eckerd Tide and push the lead back to six for Tampa. Here is Tiam attacking the rim. No. Simpson the rebound. Three minutes remaining. Love and Tiam both with 19 for Eckerd. Harris, flat footed jumper off the mark. Tiam the rebound. Swadera in the corner, White right up on him. Perry, Tiam out front between the circles, moves it over to Love, guarded by Brown. Takes him off the dribble, Kwasinski in the lane. Great find, great find by Love. Four point game, 2.20 to go. Tampa has three timeouts left, Eckerd has two. Tampa is going to use one here and that will also be extended to the under four, the final media timeout of the evening. Tampa with the ball and a four point lead, 70 66, heading for a thrilling conclusion when we come back on the SSC Digital Network. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams, discover your talents, get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Thank you to preferred partner of Eckerd Athletics, Ferg Sports Bar and Grill. For 30 years, Ferg Sports Bar and Grill has been the official gathering spot for Tampa Bay Rays fans. Located in downtown St. Pete, Ferg's encompasses nearly two city blocks with both indoor and outdoor seating with live music. When watching your next Tampa Bay sporting event, check out Ferg's. Another close contest between Eckerd and Tampa in the MacArthur Center tonight. Visiting Spartans cling to a four point lead with 2.12 to play. Leto comes back in with four fouls for Tampa. He's out there with Brown, White, Harvey. That's White out of the corner with a huge three. For Eckerd, Swadera, Love, Kwasinski, Perry, and Tiam. Brown called for the foul. He has to tone it down. He's already been hit with one technical. Finishing that five on the floor for Tampa. Brown, Harvey, Simpson, White, and Leto. Can't say I uh, disagree too much with Brown there. There was some contact, but the angle Love was going at, I don't know if it was enough to warrant a foul. Love recognized during the timeout. He's Makes the free throw, now he's got 1,001. He's definitely been fun to watch at his time here at Eckerd. You remember last year, early in the season, um, when we hosted the cross regional crossover, his heroics in the West Alabama game. 
a wild heave of a three-point shot. He's had a few fun ones. Had a buzzer beater for a win earlier this season. Makes both free throws. Brings Eckerd within five. And I still, yeah, as I said last, you know, last time we were here, I still think he's probably one of the most underrated or overlooked players in the conference. Harvey gets blitzed, but fouled. Mm. So many of the Eckert's fouls in this second half have been way far away from the basket. You know, you could you could stomach having one or two of those in a half, but I mean that's I think five, I believe, at least in this half that have been that I mean, have been just way away from the basket, 25 feet or more, and that's just those will those can come back to haunt you. Free throw off the mark for Harvey. Foul was on Kwasinski, so he has four. I thought it was on Swadera. Second free throw, good. Six point game, 97 seconds left. Brown stays up so that the Tritons can't roll it in. Simpson switches on to Love. Love takes him to the rim. Perry, left corner, three, got it. Well done. Good job by Perry to float into the open space in the corner. To recognize it was there, but again, that's created by Daniel Love's dribble penetration. One possession game, 74-71, 70 seconds to go. Tampa over the timeline, Harvey between the circles, Swadera out there, Harvey dribbles it to the elbow, back out between the circles for White, midway through the shot clock, into the final minute, Brown, a foot on the O, a foot on the end, and Tritons, eight to shoot, White, left side, Perry on him, White crosses over, fading toward the baseline, got it, he well, has made some that tough, is tough tremendous. shots. What a shot, that was well defended by Perry, but you know what, give him credit. Give, give White all the credit in the world. He's hit some big shots down the stretch, and that was, as you said, a very difficult shot. 14 points for White off the bench. There was a collision between Brown and Love, but Eckerd had already called timeout as Love brought the ball into the forecourt left. 41, or rather 49.1 seconds remaining in the game. Man, if that shot hadn't fallen, Eckerd having the ball back in a one possession game would have been big for the Tritons. Instead, they find themselves down by five. A couple real good games here in the MacArthur Center tonight to entertain the local fans. And we thank those of you who have joined us watching along online as well. Hard to believe we only have one more of these in terms of conference double headers. Yeah, it's, season does feel like it's gone by very quickly. And as optimistic as I would like to be, I'm not overly optimistic about the prospects of how close that men's game is going to be next Wednesday night. But you now even David took his stone and slew Goliath once upon a time. So we shall see. You never know. By which I mean that top-ranked Nova Southeastern comes here for the home finale for the Tritons. Got a little Timmy Trumpets going on here inside MacArthur Center. Amp up the crowd as the Tritons come out of the timeout. Perry to trigger it in. Has to throw it all the way into the backcourt to Love. Three seconds burn off as he brings it into the front court. Love on the attack, dumps it off. Kwasinski through contact. Brian Golusky wanted the foul call. Kwasinski didn't get it. Tampa uses a timeout. Hey, yeah, boy, Daniel Love has just, he's really taken over this game offensively for Eckerd in the last few minutes. Whether he's driving to the basket and scoring or driving and creating shots for somebody else off his dribble penetration, he's been the catalyst that's allowed Eckerd to have still a chance to win this game. 21 points, five assists for Love. Each team with one timeout left after the one that we're currently in. Tritons will be setting up their press out of the timeout. Tampa trying to set up a press break.
Tritons this weekend go to Rollins. If Eckerd can emerge with a win here, that will be another big matchup in terms of the late season standings. Coming into tonight, Barry, Eckerd, and Tampa in a three-way tie. Eckerd split with Barry in the season series. Need a win tonight to split the season series with Tampa. Harris to trigger it in. He can run baseline because Tampa called the timeout after a made basket. Gets it in to Brown, no trap. About a 10 second difference, shot clock and game clock. And a one possession game, three point game, the Tritons look like they wanna play this defensive possession straight up. 15 on the shot clock. Brown. Missed it, ball tip free, Love with a backpedaling Harris in front of him. Love angles off to the right, looks to go at Harris. And Eckerd used their last time out with 13 seconds left, needing three to tie. Well, this feels familiar, doesn't it? Sure does. In the women's game earlier tonight, the Tritons rallied from down 13 with 5.09 to play to force overtime. Eckerd was never down quite that much in this men's game tonight. Well, they've been chasing most of the second half. Yeah, Tampa, I believe, pushed the lead to 10 early in, this, early in the half. Uh, and Eckerd just slowly chipped away at it. Yeah, um, it was actually 10 Tampa, as recently as 10, 6.31 yeah. to go. Still yeah, for that point, oh, yeah, Eckerd just kind of slowly chipped away at it. Has it. Haven't been able to move in front, but got a chance to tie it up and send it to overtime here on this last possession. Eckert's been a 16 to nine run since then. TM, Love, and Perry, all are options to shoot it out. Tritons, of course, don't need to necessarily take the three. Again, if you know, Tampa wants to concede a quick two, it's 13 seconds left. You could stretch it out a little longer. I mean, all five guys on the floor right now can make a three. Swadera looking for somewhere to go, has to enter to Kuzinski, hands back Swadera. More time comes off, the more important it becomes to get the three. Tampa decides to foul and not allow the Tritons to attempt a game tying three. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I don't hate that strategy by Tampa. And they do have one timeout remaining if needed. Well, this is a one and one for Swadera. It rolls out. Tampa the rebound, and Eckerd has to foul. 5.7 seconds left. And free throws have bitten the Tritons in this game. 11 of 18, and that missed front end might wind up doing Eckerd in. Free throw good for Harvey. He's got 15 points, and that pretty well seals Eckerd's fate. 77-73. Tampa pulls everyone back out of the lane. Both good for Harvey. And Tampa calls timeout just in case to make sure nothing crazy happens. This is, a, this is a tough one for the Tritons to swallow. Really ratchets up the pressure for that game at Rollins. And don't really have it easy in the final three games. You got to go to Rollins, who uh, we had, a, it was close here, but Rollins got the best of us. Nova Southeastern, we all know, they're one of the top teams in the country. They ran away with the conference championship this year. No one has touched them. 
in conference play. And then you know, at St. Leo, that's always going to be a tough game. Beat St. Leo early in the year here, but they've got a good team and winning on the road in the conference, never easy. And the Tritons lose control of their own destiny with a loss here tonight. Inbound comes to Love, crosses the timeline at five seconds, gets the three up at two seconds, and rolls in with .6 seconds. Tritons need to try to foul, I suppose. But into the front court, foul is called. We'll see if they, it looks like they're gonna put .3 back on the clock. Yep. At least the official that made the call is signaling, was signaling three. Really the only thing that could have totally saved the Tritons in that situation would be a try to have it thrown out the other end or else steal it in the front court for a shot. Even off a missed free throw here. Technically not possible. I don't, I believe with point three left, you could only do it with a tip. There it is. It initially said three on the game clock, so the officials are put a. You well, can hear the one on the far side. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's stop that. I love with that three, 24 points. Free throw, good. This would remove any of the drama. And Brown makes the second. 80 to 76. Love baseball passes to midcourt. Leto catches it for Tampa. And the horn sounds. Tampa 80, Eckert 76. The final score. Tampa improves to 8 and 15 on the season, 7 and 10 in conference. Moving for now up into that eighth spot by themselves, depending on what Barry did tonight. Eckerd slips to 6 and 11 and 9 and 14 overall on the season. Yeah, I mean, a better second half performance tonight for the Tritons, but still coming out on the losing end. Coach Brian Galeski on his way up to chat with you in the post game, so headset off for me, and I'll leave it for him. Look at Danny Love, 24 points to lead the way for the Tritons, also had five assists. Car Tium, 19 points for Eckerd. Makai Brown led the way for the Spartans, finishing with 17. Harvey had 16. White with 14, including some big shots to help put it away down the stretch for the Spartans. Tampa wound up shooting 58.1% from the floor. Tritons were able to force 14 turnovers. It definitely kept them around for a little bit. And now we are lucky to be joined by the head coach of the Eckerd College Tritons. Brian Golusky joins us on the post game show after an 80 to 76 Tritons defeat at the end of Tampa. And coach, thanks for joining us. The Spartans able to hang on at the end. They shot 58% from the floor. Just couldn't get the stops when you needed them down the stretch. What did you just say? We couldn't get the what? The stops. It's been uh, difficult for us to get the stops and if you're going to win in the SSC you get you got to get the stops and and uh I won't take away from our kids because they they play really really hard uh their effort is there they want to win we just have struggled to get stops um fundamentally we struggle and that's on me I mean we we're we're not we have not progressed where we need to progress defensively to to just lock down in certain moments um we're a, we're a good team but we just we don't play 40 minutes unfortunately the first half of the game it was really back and forth guys held the lead for a huge portion of that it did seem like Tampa came out swinging in the second half you know, is there anything they did differently out of the locker room, or is it just the just the inconsistency over the course of the game? Yeah, inconsistency. We use the word, you know, maturity. Um, and and I, you know, if you're going to win a high caliber college basketball game in our league, you have to be mature for 40 minutes, and you have to value all possessions. And we unfortunately we just have lapses. Um, it takes five guys on the floor to always do their job, and it, it's not done purposely. We just 
we just have lapses and and then um, obviously Tampa has good players you know and they convert off of our mistakes so it's an area that has to continue to grow for us and we have to get better and I feel for our kids because they want to win but 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 wanting and getting it done are two different things certainly a bright spot of the game especially in the second half Daniel Love 24 points 14 in the second half reached the 1,000 point mark for his career. Over 800 of those have come playing for you here at Eckerd. You know, what has he meant, not just for the team, but you know, for your time here at a time where there's been some roster tumult tumultuous roster turnover, of course, you know, the lost COVID season, you know, how stabilizing has he been? Yeah, I, I will say that his growth has been phenomenal over uh, this year and coming in from last year. Uh, I know he was uh, a statistical guy for us last year, but he grew as a college basketball player this season. Um, and we as a staff can see it, and it's a great honor for Daniel to achieve that milestone. It's really difficult to do, and he works hard. He puts in the time, and, uh, you know, he means a lot to our program, and, you know, it's it's well-deserved. He, he's certainly a difference maker on the floor um, when he is playing you know, at his full strength. With Tampa with the win moving into the eight spot, uh, edging you guys in the standings for the moment, make Saturday's game at Rollins a virtual must win to continue to stay in postseason contention. And what's your focus with the quick turnaround those Wednesdays to Saturdays to get this team ready for Rollins? Uh, I think it'll be redundant conversation, defend and rebound. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I felt, uh, you know, we've been in this circumstance all year, especially late, and we've, We've just given up opportunities and we have to find a way to, to regroup and, and refocus and understand that, you know, there, there aren't many lives left and, and we have to find a way to win. Uh, and you can't just cross your fingers and hope someone else helps you out and, and gets it done for you in regards to what happens in the standings. We got to win at Rollins and we have to go in, we got to defend, we got to rebound um, and we got to just be better offensively and be more efficient. Thank you, Coach. You got it. Thank you. Coach Koleski, always generous with his time after the game. Eckerd, a hard-fought loss, 80-76 tonight in the MacArthur Center. Again, Daniel Love leading the way, leading all scores with 24 points, five assists for Daniel, Cartium with 19, Makai Brown with 17 for Tampa to lead the Spartans in victory as Spartans move past Eckerd and settle a tie in the conference standings while also claiming the tiebreaker with a season series sweep at Eckerd's expense. For John Armstrong, for our producer Riley, I'm Nate March. Thank you so much for tuning in to Eckerd College Basketball tonight. A couple of thrillers, women's game and men's game. Unfortunately, neither one quite goes the Triton's way. One last time, the final score from here in St. Petersburg. Tampa 80, Eckerd 76. This has been a live presentation of the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. Have a good night.